We've never met before, so it's very nice to meet you. It's great to meet you. I have to say, I have known of you since the late 1980s. I was a big fan of a, sh a little show called Open House. Ah, yes, Open House is one of my first shows ever. Your first big break, and I... Yes. Would also like to go on and confess that I had a rather large crush on you at the time, so this oh. is a little... <laughs> wow. Odd for me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I made my peace with it some time ago. Okay, yes. There's another uh, friend of mine. We've become friends, but he was also uh, thought he was going to have uh, some kind of relationship with me, and everyone kept trying to tell him, no, you're not. And he was like, oh, no, I will. And, and then they had to explain to him that he never would. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think I would have ever gone that far in I terms of my... It was just... It was from a far, and a far... You know what it was like, though? When you became huge... I kind of resented it a little bit because I thought, no, I mean, I knew about her. Oh. Do you know what I mean? When you, you know somebody fame before they become really big and you knew them first and uh, well, I felt like I had a little, this is going to sound patriarchal, but I felt like I had a little ownership just as a fan. Right. I apologize <laughs> but for what saying it, that. But it, what really it says about you is how smart you are and the, the good taste that you have that you spotted me <laughs> before anybody else. So exactly it actually right. says, yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. So thank you. Uh, all right, so let's talk about uh, the world. Um, it, what's, it, so you've been doing this 20 years, right? Yeah, 20 full-time and, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and then what part-time? I was a freelance reporter before, yes, I, before okay. I broke into okay. it. Okay. So. So, so what's happening? I mean, have you ever seen anything like what is happening right now? No, it's crazy. Yes, and scary. Uh, it can be scary. I, I, I mean, I do have a lot of faith in American institutions and checks and balances, and the fact is, you know, the free press still thrives, and we're still able to say what we want to say, and there's the judicial branch and the legislative branch. But, um, yeah, it's very odd. We've never had a president talk and act this way. Uh, we've never had a direct line from the id of a president's brain uh, out to the world, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, as we do through the Twitter machine and, and uh, President Trump. One imagines what it would have been like if, uh, if Nixon had such a thing. I guess we're lucky that we didn't have it at the time. Right. And, and the fact that he's attacking the free press, which is a very dangerous thing, and he attacks CNN, does that bother you that he attacks CNN all the time, calling it fake news? It, uh, it, it doesn't bother me. It's, it's, uh, I mean, it bothers me when he attacks the media over and over and over again, and he seems to use the term fake news almost exclusively to mean news that is true but I don't like. Right. Um, uh, but it's, it's strange that he uses it the way he does. It, yeah, I mean, it, I think it should bother every American. Yes. But it bothers me more when he d goes after the disabled or makes fun of somebody who has a drug and alcohol problem as he did a few days ago. I, that, that's really where I just like think it crosses a line into indecent. Right. Well, I think it's crossed lines. It's, it, it's so many lines. There, you think, well, this can't be okay, somebody at some point, and then there's another line and another line. And it seems like and he doesn't like you. I mean, obviously. I think that's probably right. Yeah. <laughs> but then also Obama didn't like you as well. I think that's also correct. Now, <laughs> now the difference was that Obama would just stare. Mm -hmm. I, he would come out of the press room and I'd be there asking an impertinent, wise-ass question and he would just give me a mean look. The president gets on the Twitter machine. Uh, now, you can argue, as you, as you almost seem to be, it's more transparent. You right. actually have m more of an idea of what he's actually thinking, right. whereas Obama would just do the disappointed glower. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it's because... Did you like Obama? It's not my job to like him or not like him, okay. really. I mean, he, he seemed pleasant. Yeah, he is. Um, I like him. But, um, but, but, I mean, it's because you really don't give... You, you keep pushing and you've, you ask tough questions and you don't stop. Is that something that you've always done? Yeah, I, I will say the, 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 the attribute that that is, um, that I find something that's uncomfortable in a conversation, run right to it, and then just relentlessly ask questions about it, works much, much better behind a desk at CNN than it did, for instance, at a sorority mixer in college. Huh? <laughs> when that wasn't a particularly good quality. Right, right. I was going to say, he doesn't really personally go after you because you don't have a nickname yet. Because when you have a nickname is when he's, you're really the target. I'll be honest. President Trump has a lot of uh, skills, and I used to think his branding skill was amazing. Little Marco or Lion Ted, low-energy Jeb, crooked Hillary. 
he's kind of lost his mojo on the, on the nickname front. He yeah. tried to do it with Comey, and he's been trying out all these different nicknames. He had Lion Comey, that didn't seem to work. Liar and a Leaker Comey, Slippery Comey, Slime Ball, first Slime Ball, two different words, <laughs> then Slime Ball, one word. <laughs> Try, he's, he's clearly tr you know, trying new material, uh -huh, as right. one does. Yeah. Um, and it hasn't really caught on. Yeah. I don't know if he's just so ensconced in the White House, he's lost his, uh, his ability to do right. it. But no, he has not come up with a good nickname for me yet. Right. Flunky, I think he called me a flunky once. Oh, really? And yeah. that's it? No. Uh, yeah, that. It yeah. was disappointing. Yeah, sure. Come on. You need, yeah. Show up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like the tap man, but that's not that's an a insult. Good one. I know. Yeah. You called yourself the tap man. <laughs>